Hey guys, my name is Clay Cowart. Today we're aboard the Pathfinder 2400 Open. We're gonna go ahead and give you guys a little walkthrough, show you what this boat's all about. So here we are up in the bow, and something I love about bay boats, Pathfinders to be specific, there's so many features that come in this package. And just to start up here, you know, we have this area up here in the bow where we can mount a trolling motor. And trolling motors are absolutely fantastic in my honest opinion, not only for inshore fishing, but for just trolling around the flats, looking for bait. Also, whenever we're offshore, we use them as anchors, we use them for slow trolling. And the fact that we can mount, say, a 72 inch shaft trolling motor up here on the bow, it's nice and compact and Pathfinder puts the perfect little spot here to do so. We also have our cleats up here in the bow. And what's great about these cleats is they're offset. So sometimes when you have the cleat right here behind the trolling motor, it gets a little difficult to get to, but the fact that we have them out of the way here, they completely clear the trolling motor. They're nice pop-up cleats. That's huge nowadays because, you know, things like fly line, cast nets, you know, nothing can possibly get caught on these cleats up here in the bow. We also have an anchor locker, just in case you do choose to use an anchor, and it's big. We can fit a lot of chain, big anchor, road up here, so that's not a problem if you do wish to use an anchor on this boat. It's nice having the option to do so. If we go a little further back, we just have this huge storage hatch here, and the more storage, obviously, always the better. And Pathfinder utilizes all the space throughout this boat to just gain as much storage as possible. You can never have enough storage on a boat. And something that I love more than anything, Pathfinder is known for having extremely dry hatches. And the biggest reason why, so you can see we have the gasket that goes all the way around the hatch and we also have these nice deep gutters. And that's something you'll really appreciate when you spend a lot of time on a boat and you notice you open up your hatches and there's no water inside. So that's awesome. And then, like we were saying, the gutters just drain right down here to this step, which is great. Absolutely no obstruction here in the boat. And just having this nice transition which is multi-purpose, right? You can use this for storage, um, but this is also an insulated fish box with a macerator. So if you choose not to use it for storage, you can use it you know, to put fish in here. We can fit a mahi, a small wahoo, kingfish, whatever it may be. You know, We have so much beam on this boat. Pathfinder uses all the space across the beam in order to store big fish up here if we choose to do so. Another thing that's great is we can also use this for food or drinks since it is an insulated box. So what I love about it, you load up the boat with friends, family, whoever it may be, and you're not bringing a bunch of extra coolers and clogging up the deck space. So it's always nice to have these insulated hatches here inside of the boat. Something that's great here too, is if you notice on the gunnels, we stay nice and wide. So if you do decide to walk the gunnels all the way up to the bow, you can do so. We have a rod holder right here. We also have a cup holder. I actually added these extra in order to fit these 8.8 .8 speakers up here, which you can do so if you just switch that around. So being able to put some good speakers here in the boat, which is an option with Pathfinder, is always a great thing. So now you'll see where this boat truly gets its open name. And really, it's just because we have so much open, walkable area here to do so. But what's still great is we still have that raised deck up front like your traditional bay boat. But then, in my honest opinion, this is what really sells the boat to someone that wants to spend a little more time offshore fishing. Like we were talking about, we're locked in here in this cockpit and just being able to lean up against these bolsters, it just gives you such a safe and secure feeling, especially for the kids. But like I was talking about, Pathfinder is just always utilizing space. And we have this hatch down here in the floor. Right here, I have my PFDs. I have all my safety equipment in a dry bag, but this is also big enough for a five gallon bucket. If you choose to store cast nets in here, whatever it may be, I like this spot because it just keeps everything out of the way, but still have those same deep gutters like we were talking about. And then we have the cooler seat here, which in my opinion is massive. This is perfect just because with a boat that's a little beamier like this, you're always gonna be bringing a couple friends, maybe some family. So by just having a bigger cooler, that always makes things great. 
We can also remove it if we need to do so. Um, also, we have this cushion here. We have the cushion that goes up against the back of the console here. And what's great is this will fit, I would say, two adults, maybe even three kids across the front here. So by just having that nice wide console, it helps us to put people up in the front. And I'll show you guys why I like the bigger consoles once we get to the back side. But like I was saying, just having this walkable space, I mean, this is huge for a bay boat. Just having all this room, you feel so safe. You feel so secure and this boat just feels so much bigger than 24 feet. So before we move around to the back side of the console, we have to talk about the tower. Pathfinder gives you two options. You can either do a hard top or you can do the tower. Now, I've towed this boat all throughout the state of Florida and I never had a clearance issue on the highway. Obviously, always do your due diligence, but just know when this boat's up on the trailer, Pathfinder makes sure to cut this thing low enough to the point where you should be able to get around to most places. Now, as you can see, we're powder coated here. There's a couple different options that you could do. You could do aluminum, black, white, but something I love about this tower is just this little pod that you have up here. Reason why is because you can fit a Garmin GPS chart plotter. You could put a VHF up there if you wanted to. You could put all different things, but here specifically, we have our steering wheel, jack plate control, throttle. We have our Yamaha autopilot. And of course, like I said, we have Garmin electronics up there. And it just makes you feel so safe, secure. And something that I like about this tower more than anything, Pathfinder really thought about the size, right? Reason why is just because my wife and I both, we could fit up there. You know, an adult could fit up there with two kids and in my honest opinion, it's like adding a second story to your home. Just adds a whole different element to the boat and it's just such a cool feature to have. Now, we use this tower not only for finding bait, but we'll also use it offshore, looking for mahis, cobias, whatever it may be, and then of course, taking it back inshore. Just being elevated is just a complete game changer and the fact like i said you can tow this boat basically anywhere with this tower it's a feature i definitely do suggest but if you do want to keep it simple the hard top you can't go wrong there either so before we move back i just wanted to talk about these rod holders here obviously they're all verticals and you know if you do wish to purchase this boat hardcore fishing is probably you know at your forefront so having a lot of rod holders is very important. Got the four verticals here, like I already said, everything is powder coated real nice and white. And something that I love that Pathfinder does here on their finish work, you'll notice that there's these little plastic washers that go behind the screws, so that way the screw isn't digging into the powder coating. And it just helps the overall look and just help the boat's finish last just so much longer. So here we are on the back side of the console, and in my opinion, this is just a huge key feature for this boat. As you can see, we have a lot of width here, but we're still able to walk past. That just goes to show how much beam this boat really even has. But going back to the width of this console, there's so many great things about having a wider console. With that width, we can walk down inside of this console, open up the door, and as you can see, there's just so much space in here. We didn't do a toilet, but if you choose to do a head, you can go ahead, put a window on the port side, go down in there, do what you have to do. It's also a great feature if you're a guide, and uh, you know some of the older 24 models didn't necessarily have that, so the fact that you can go ahead and put that head in there, if your clients do need to use the restroom, they do have the option to do so now, which is great. Now, another great thing about this wider console is you can tuck behind it. You can get out of the elements and it's big enough for two people to tuck back behind here for when things get nasty. We also have a face that's big enough to fit two 12 inch chart plotters. And this is huge for us offshore guys because we like having our charts on one side and then we like having our sonar on the other side. So it's nice to be able to mix and match, but you also can do one big screen if you choose to do so. If you want to mount your VHF, you know, your head unit, whatever it may be up here on the side. So you can kind of do it whatever, which way you choose to do so. Have the switch panel right below it here. All these switches light up at night, so it's real easy. Whenever you're driving at night, you can just see things. You can flip a switch real quick if you need to do so. We have our Yamaha gauge here. 
you know, Yamaha is just fantastic whenever it comes to just integrating everything together. You can track your trips, you know, you can track your fuel burn, RPMs, obviously. And that's something that's really important for those long range guys. And you always want to keep track of absolutely everything going on on your boat. Obviously, we have the Yamaha Autopilot that integrates with our Yamaha gauge right here. And this is a complete game changer, in my opinion, especially for the long range guys. It's like having that second person here on your boat. Everything here is perfect and in arm's reach, but there's other little things that you have here, like indentations to put your phone, maybe a pack of hooks. We also have this lip here, so if you wanna store things up here, you hit that throttle, you don't have to worry about things coming back on you. Got your compass and then cup holders. You can never have enough cup holders on a boat. But my opinion, everything is laid out here perfectly. We have the standard steering wheel here, but you can also upgrade to an Edson if you wish to do so. Jack plate control is right where it should be, right here at your fingertip as you're steering, and we can still work the throttle and trim if we need to do so. So that's definitely very nice to have. Trim tab switches right where they should be as well right here in arm's reach so that way we can get to everything real nice and having full boat control is always at your fingertips got our power pole switch here talk about our power poles later and that's pretty much everything we got going on here but if we move down a little further have a little storage hatch here we also have some usb charging outlets and then we also have two different settings that way you can get as comfortable as possible on this boat when you're sitting down up here on the leaning post. First and foremost, we have the LeBrock bench seat. Wide enough to put two people up there, and it has two different modes, as I like to call the comfort mode and the fishing mode. Right now, we're in the fishing mode where the armrests are up, bolsters are up, and then whenever you wanna put it in the comfort mode, you can just go ahead, put the armrests down, put the bolsters down, you sit up there, cruise around on autopilot, or just go from one spot to the next. Right below it, there's a little storage hatch. And this is awesome because you could store full-size tackle boxes, leaders, whatever it may be inside of here. And then you pull these pins and then the entire insert comes out and then you have full access to your house batteries. Now back around here, here we have the live well. This is 41 gallons and I love this live well we have a nice big opening. So whenever we're throwing the cast net, bringing it over the side of the boat and dropping it in, we have a nice big opening to do so. Something that Pathfinder thought about for all of us fishermen and all the guys throwing the cast net is these rod holders are just far enough out of the way where they don't become an obstruction whenever we're dropping our bait in. Sometimes you'll see these rod holders right over the top of the lid and it makes things extremely difficult, but we have plenty of room here to do so. And we can't forget about these aquarium windows. These aquarium windows not only give you a fantastic ability to monitor your baits, make sure your water levels are always correct, but it's also such a cool little addition to the boat, which in my opinion, just really impresses people. It looks great. Up top, we have four vertical rod holders going straight up, and then we have our kingfish rod holders that we have out here to the side. These are great whenever we're slow trolling. We just stick the rods in here sideways, as you can see. Just gives them a little more separation when you're trolling around live baits, or even artificial or dead baits, whatever it may be. We have all kinds of lighting here. We have lighting underneath the actual top. We also have a light on the rear light up front as well. So this boat is completely lit up at night. We start our mornings pretty early here whenever we're fishing down in the Keys. So by having all this additional lighting is fantastic. We also have it under gunnel. We also have it in every single hatch here on the boat. So if you ever need to do anything in the dark on this boat, being able to see at night definitely is not a problem. In addition to these rod holders, we also have two more rod holders up on the top of the tower just for additional storage and then we have another two that point straight forward which is fantastic for a pitch rod um, if you do wish to do so which is great so now we're in the back here of the open cockpit and as you can see i'm just leaning right up against this gunnel here we have the bolsters like we were talking about that just carry all throughout the boat 
And this is really gonna help you when it comes to wear and tear and fishing all throughout the day. Up here on the gunnel, we have our gas cap. It's nice, we have the cutout here. So if we ever do have a little spill, everything just goes right outside of the boat. We have our MIG cleat here, which is great for spring lining the boat, or you can hang bumpers. We actually even use these to tie down all of our rods whenever we're doing any high speed trolling, which is great. We also have all different angles and different positions of rod holders back here, which is great. I know outriggers are an option on this boat, so if you were to run outriggers, you know you have a spot to do that here. Then also you have just the different angles which just make trolling and fishing that much easier. Got the cup holder back here. Like we said, never have enough cup holders on a boat. If you're not using them for drinks, you know you could use them for weights, lures, whatever it may be. And then lastly, we have the pop-up cleat here in the back like we were talking about earlier. Nothing for them to catch on, whether it's cast net, fly line. Underneath the gunnel, we have our under gunnel rod storage. Here specifically, we're using it to store away our gaffs. And not only do we have this in the rear, we also have this up front. We also have fresh water wash down on this boat, which is an option. We love this because we like to go to the sandbar. So being able to wash down after being in the salt water all day, it's definitely a nice feeling. On the other side, we have our salt water, otherwise known as raw water. And we also have that up front as well. So if you have some shorter hoses or you just wanna reposition these hoses, it's nice to have an option to have them either in the back or up front. So that's great. Now, this is one of my favorite parts. I have a lot of favorite parts of this boat. But this is one of the many things, especially for us offshore fishermen here. And that is the in floor fish boxes. And as you can see, these are big boxes, fully insulated, big enough for a full-size wahoo, full-size mahi, mutton snappers, groupers, whatever you wanna put in here, you can pretty much put it here inside of this box. Like we were talking about earlier up front, you know, if we don't wanna put fish in here, we can also put food and drinks in here. If you're doing any type of long range trip, camping, or just taking a lot of friends out on the boat. These are macerated, so these just drain right overboard. I don't know if you could tell, but these are on friction hinges, so no need for the gas shocks. Another thing you'll notice is these fish boxes actually open up towards the gunnel. This is great because not only do they not get in the way, but since they sit on these friction hinges, it just sits open just like this. If you want, you can stand in this spot right here, gaff a fish, bring them over, put them right here inside of the boat so he's not squirming around the deck and uh, potentially even getting a hook in your foot. So. This is one of my favorite things about this boat. Not only is it great food, drinks, fish, but if you also wish to do so, storage. Now, back here, this is an option. You can either build the boat with these or without. I figured that, hey, you know, this is a perfect option for friends, family, and these are just jump seats that just slide right out here and it's perfect for any extra passengers you have on the boat. And then whenever you're not using them, you just push them, slide them right up and out of the way. Now, if you don't choose to do this option, you can also stick bean bags here. Uh, bean bags are extremely popular in fishing boats just because you can always move them up out of the way if you choose to do so. But in addition to having this nice cutout for a bean bag, we're feeding over into this open design, right? The fact that we can stand right here up against the bolster, fight a fish, move all the way around the boat, just having all this open area here is fantastic. Now, if you notice, the transom actually extrudes just a little bit here, and the reason why is because we have this 27 gallon live well here, which for us live bait fishermen, we all know the more live well space we have, always the better. Since this is a smaller well, it's perfect as a pitch well. Um, it's also great to separate your shrimp and crabs, say, from your big live well where maybe you're putting goggle eyes, pilchards, ballyhoos. So the fact that we have two different live wells, we can always mix and match back here. Now behind the pitch well, we also have two rod holders right here, which is great for a shotgun rod, say, if you're trolling, but also, for your bait net. 
you always gotta have a place to keep your bait net if need be. But another thing that's great, is this is a perfect platform if you ever wanna get up high. Say you are inshore fishing this boat, you can you know, get up a little higher and basically have that better line of sight when it comes to sight fishing. Now, this is huge, full pun intended, and that is the access to the bilge. I mean, being that this is a 24 foot bay boat, the amount of space that you have in here is very impressive um, when it comes to rigging, changing pumps. Uh, it just makes things really easy. And another thing that's great is you have more storage. I like to keep my cast nets in here. Um, any type of wet storage that you may want to put in here, I mean, there's just so much room to do so. You know, there's all types of access to all your shut off. So when you are reaching in and out of there to shut off, turn off your live wells, do your services, change your fuel filters, you know, the more access and the more space, obviously always the better. Lastly, here we are at the transom. And something that you'll notice is I'm standing here on the back of the boat where traditional bay boats, you typically just have a swim platform. Whereas this platform back here is completely walkable. And it's walkable enough to the point where we have plenty of room. Now we're big into the sandbar and we're also big into diving. So we have a ladder back here on the transom. So when we are at the sandbar, just drop it down. You can step right up and here you are basically right back into the boat with a simple step. As you can see, it's not that hard to work over the transom. But we also love spear fishing, we love lobstering, we love diving. So having this platform back here whenever you're ready to go in the water, and just being able to sit back here with your fins up, whenever you're ready to go in, you go in, and whenever you're ready to come in, you can come in as well. So by having this big platform back here, in my opinion, is really nice. Nice grab handle right here on the back. So when you do choose to come up via the ladder, really easy to get inside of the boat. And then obviously we have our two eight foot power pole blades, which are also an option here on this boat. There's no such thing as brakes on a boat, but this is the closest thing to it. And we love our power poles for fishing, uh, whether it's inshore, you know, looking for snook and tarpon, redfish. We also use them a lot for bait fishing and docking even. And then we have our 300 horsepower Yamaha outboard on the back of this boat. We all know that Yamaha is known for the reliability. Couple it with this boat and it's the perfect power package for this hardcore fishing platform. We have the electronic digital steering built into this engine. No steering pumps inside the boat. Everything is right here on the engine and not to mention the steering is like butter. Plenty of power. Fuel economy is fantastic. We have a single step on this boat, so the efficiency with this 300 outboard is very impressive. But that's basically about it here on this walkthrough, guys. We hope that you all are enjoying this boat just as much as we are. This truly is a fantastic all-around hardcore fishing platform. Finally, we have the perfect package in order to have the versatility for whatever type of fishing that we wish to do. But so far, we're really enjoying this 2400 Open, and we know that you guys will just as much as us. Till then, see you guys on the water.